So now to the uh, amazingly talented 17-year-old who uh, set the world alight a couple of years ago at the age of 15. One Europeans, it was a surprise when she was beaten in the world, but then disaster struck, lost all confidence, finished in ninth place in Russian nationals, didn't compete in Europeans and worlds. Six in Skate America. Let's see what she has for us here. Music from Elvis for Yulia Lipnitskaya. Wise men say Only fools rush in But I can't Start, triple toe, triple toe. Not as elegant as usual, but she landed the triple flip. Edge out of a double axle. Julia Lipnitskaya, and that's good to see. It wasn't the skating we saw at the start of that season leading up to the Olympics. And I think it was the Olympics that were the biggest problem for her. She won European, she was the poster girl in Sochi, and it wasn't happening for her. She finished out of the medals in fifth place. And since then, I think her confidence has taken a hammering. And growing too, of course, making a, a tremendous difference from the girl becoming the, the woman in the, as, as that happens. And all the dynamics that that has to the, the height, the weight, the jumps, the techniques. <laughs> I thought that for me was a much more confident performance that, uh, than I've seen from her. This is the second time I've seen her this year, I think. And uh, it's, yes, it was, it was lighter. I was reading that um, her coach, Ettera Tukberich, was saying to her, maybe do something a bit more sophisticated, a bit more womanly routine this year. She said, I'm not quite ready for that yet. And this is like an interim. It's Elvis, it's a bit more fun. It's almost an exhibition in a way. So that's, there's less intensity in that. Here's the opening, lovely length. Perfect, the best we've seen so far. around again just this tiny little catch not quite the quality of the landing edge and it's that confidence I'm just going through it there's no there's no doubt there great to see that coming back 
and the crowd are getting her as well, aren't they? Starting to get the feel of the personality coming out rather than the, the worry. And I think that's a, it's a big part of it. Yeah, she was able to sell the step sequence better than I've seen her do that before. Yes. It's great to see the confidence growing back. And, uh, It's more relaxed. It's almost like an exhibition within the short program, which, of course, you have to be completely focused on. Good on the spins. Well, we should have a new leader for the first time in this second group. Remember, it's Roda Guerra who leads for Italy. But Sky has put herself in contention for a medal tomorrow. Yeah, she's really had to deal with uh, untold pressure. So many in home Olympics have had the same problems. But uh, that's really good. Nearly a full seven marks above Rodriguero. Lipnitskaya is the leader with two to go. Her total score is 65.63. Her season's best, which currently places her in first place.